Health officials have spent months investigating an outbreak of serious lung illnesses tied to e-cigarette use and vaping. They've zeroed in on a substance called vitamin E acetate as a potential culprit. But what is vitamin E acetate and how does your body process it? Vitamin E is what it sounds like, it's a vitamin, but it's pretty chemically unstable on its own. It's more stable when something called an acetate group gets added to it. Vitamin E acetate is often put in skin creams and supplements. It's generally seen as safe when it's applied to the skin or when it's swallowed. When you ingest it, that acetate group gets cut off by enzymes in your gastrointestinal system. The vitamin then gets trapped in these tiny particles called mixed micelles. These are natural nanoparticles that are made by bile acids that get secreted by your body. Those particles take the vitamin, ferry it through the stomach's mucus layer, and into epithelial cells. The vitamin then gets repackaged again inside the epithelial cells into a new kind of nanoparticle, and it gets sent out into your bloodstream. But what happens if you inhale vitamin E acetate because it's been added to a vaping product? When you breathe it in, it doesn't break down the same way it does when you ingest it. Those enzymes aren't there to cut off the acetate group and send it on its way. And vitamin E acetate can hang around in the lungs for a while, which experts think can interfere with lung function and cause serious health issues. 